You're welcome back. Thank you very much for um, tuning in. As promised, I have Chukudi with me here in the studio. Hi, Chukudi. Hi, Ayo. <laughs> I see that you are trying to certainly match my outfit today. So you put a purple po pocket square. Well, let's just say we are telepathic. Okay. Mm. They say great minds do what? Think alike. Think alike. All right. Are you as great-minded as we are? If you're wearing a touch of purple, then yes, receive your style of greatness. All right. Now, some people are heroes, not because they save, you know, lives, and, but because of the fact that they go through horrendous situations and still come out of it champions. We have such story, a story, story right now to show you. It's the story of a Libyan who was, um, who was seeking green, a Nigerian who was seeking greener pastures in Libya, coming back as an amputee. And we just really celebrate these men and women who haven't allowed life to put them down or give up hope. So here is our feature for today. Live Nigeria 2014. When I, when I reached Libya, I saw that it's, it happened that Libya is a I found it is a country that's been, uh, been not organized. And it happened that for me to come back, it wasn't easy. So I decided to look for a little money for me to come back. I was my, with my two legs when I left Nigeria. So what happened to you? It was Libya, Libyan people that uh, used gun and scatter my leg. So I found myself when I went there and I decided to do a work. It was 15 years, boy. Yes. You don't injure, you use uh, this gun. AK-47. So are you working in the I was working in the car wash. Who owns the car wash? The car wash, Libya man owns the car wash. Okay, now after working, now, for him to give me the money, I, I washed the car, changed the oil, and changed the filter, and washed the engine. After everything, for him to give me the money, he said that he has no money. I said, you are the first person to enter to the workshop. You have to give me money. He said, okay, I don't have money. He said, okay, I should wait. What, what do I see? He opened the boot and carried AK-47. Start shooting me. I two legs. Condemn these two legs with AK-47. Almost 30 bullets. Look at it. Here, here is an operation too. This bone break. This one come out like this. This one come out like this. I have a pressure. Look at it. That's why this is shaky. There's something they put here. Inside the leg. Yeah. That hold this one. So the person you're working for, what the person is He did not do anything, no government. Even he could they couldn't arrest him. Even himself. He was dodging himself. And I was try I tried to come back to Nigeria and report it to my embassy. My embassy could not do anything. This is two years now. This happened on February 2016. Yes. I reported to my embassy, go to my embassy, the day this happened. My embassy could not come, even to today. It was people that helped me for me to survive. First, I decided to come to Nigeria. I tried to come back to Nigeria, but there's no help now. I might to come, who will help me now? I'm trying to get in touch, I get in touch with our embassy. Our embassy did not do anything. They are the people to help me to come back to Nigeria. They sure have to stay. That they will fight for the government, maybe government will have uh, something benefit to me to today. They even, if I call them with my phone, they will not pick the call. Yes, our embassy, Nigerian embassy, they will not pick my call. Until the day I decided to say, that, let me go, I heard that people are going. Wow, such a sad story, Chukudi. I mean, Nigerians are going through a lot, as you can see. And again, not deterring people from going abroad, abroad or emigrating. But well, the truth is that sometimes we think that the grass is green on the other side. But honestly, what some people face, you'd rather just stay at home and manage the small resources that you have. Very true. I think that, you know, the government must do more. Because in all honesty, the, the, the major reason why people move is basically for survival's sake. I would explain. Nigerian doctors are leaving the shores of this country in droves. And doctors are professionals who are supposed to add value to society, if we go by their primary responsibility of saving lives. Now, these people go outside Nigeria, and you have a country where the system works and they do well there. What we must do is ensure that we give hope to the average Nigerian, to look at Nigeria and say, I am going to aspire to greatness in my country and achieve that. I mean, that is a man who I would, maybe he had some business um, that he was running in Nigeria, 
that was, you know, struggling and all. But he went to Libya and was working as a car wash attendant. What but he would ordinarily not want to do you know, in Nigeria. You have to understand that, unfortunately, unlike other countries, there's dignity in labor. You understand? I mean, there's no dignity in labor in Nigeria. Other countries, you can be a plumber and you'll buy a house. You know why? Because the, in, in simple social studies, we're taught that the basic necessities of life, food, clothing, and shelter. Now, there are certain things you do that, I mean, people go to church and give testimonies because they have built a bungalow. Mm. And this is supposed to be a basic necessity of life. Now, because you cannot afford these basic necessities of life that you consider a luxury, I mean, you drink gari in Nigeria and people laugh at you. You cannot even eat good food. Mm. People, live be people live below one dollar yeah, in our great line. country, Nigeria. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a serious situation. And that is why somebody would rather want to go outside the shores of Nigeria yeah, and do something different because they know that they do not have to spend their savings on fueling their generating sets, yes. paying for OPC or the some militia to provide good. security. The minimum wage is good. And life is a lot better. Yes. Now, another thing that this video, this interview highlighted, the feature, is the fact that our embassies abroad are nothing to write home about. I mean, look at what he said with regards to the advice given to him at the um, Nigerian embassy in Libya. They actually said, just wait here and see if the Libyan government will be able to compensate you. And they stopped taking his calls. Nigerians are not very well represented or protected in other countries. And we've seen, you know, little stories here and there to, um, to allude to that. But we haven't yet picked it up, maybe because we have so many things going on. We know of killings in, in, in Asia, South Malaysia, Africa. South Africa, in Dubai. So many things happen to our people there with little or no support from the Nigerian embassy. You see, yesterday we discussed something about placing premium on the Nigerian life. This might sound like an ambitious or a bogus statement, but... If I want to cite the example of America, people say, oh, it's America. Even in the coven of witches, so long as they know that you are there, they will come and get you. Mm. The Minister for Foreign Affairs was on TV last week saying that Nigerians who have been killed in South Africa have ties with criminal elements or criminal gangs. I mean, you don't even make such we statements. That's a sweeping for, statement. Yeah. That's a blanket statement. Yeah. What you need to do first is ensure that you protect the lives of your citizens. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are laws. And even if they were linked to the gangs there, let's be honest, when, even when American citizens are caught for drug trafficking or cocaine pushing, they're still protected as much as possible because they see them as happy. They don't say, oh, he committed a crime or he deserves to die. You know, at the end of the day, we have to first of all think of the Nigerian life. I was looking forward to a day in this nation, in the history of this nation, where there'll be a high premium placed on the Nigerian life. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.